Hey guys, Anthony Morganti here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use linear profiles in a number of different applications. A few days ago, I posted a video talking about how linear profiles are becoming increasingly popular with photographers. In that video, I demonstrated how to create your own linear profile for your camera. After that video posted, I received tons of great feedback. A number of people mentioned how to use linear profiles in specific applications, so today, I want to go through a number of applications and show you how to use linear profiles in them. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to that video I did a few days ago, so you could check it out if you haven't seen it already. Also, I'll have bookmarks placed uh, for each of the different applications I'm going to be covering in this video so that you could jump to the app you use. We're going to start out with Affinity Photo. When you open a RAW file up into Affinity Photo, it opens up into what they call the Develop Persona. Once you do that, just click on this little icon right here. It's called the Assistant Options. By default, if you look at Tone Curve, it's going to say Apply Tone Curve. To get a linear profile, just change that to Take No Action. Now that setting is sticky, so really you just need to do it once. Then every RAW file that you open up going forward in Affinity Photo will have the Tone Curve set to Take No Action. Uh, you also should check that the Exposure Bias is set at Take No Action as well and that's your linear profile right there. So that's Affinity Photo. Next, let's move over to Capture One. Let me just fix the screen here. With Capture One, go to this tab right here. This is the Color tab, and then go down to Base Characteristics. And by the way, this image that I'm going to be showing in each of the different applications was taken with the Sony A7R IV. Go to Base Characteristics, and what you want to do is go to Curve right here. By default, it's going to show Auto. Just click on that and just go to Linear Response, and then you can see we now have a linear profile on Capture One. The next app I'm going to talk about is On One Photo Raw 2021. Now, here, again, just go over to uh, when you're in the Edit panel, and you're in the develop module, go over to the tone and color tab and camera profile, just click there and at the very bottom you'll see linear raw. Just click on that and there is your linear profile in On One Photo Raw 2021. Can't get much easier so far. All right, now it might get a little more difficult. This is uh, Photolab 4. Now in Photolab 4, you actually have to create uh, your camera your linear camera profile, as I demonstrated in that video I mentioned I did a few days ago. Once you have that profile uh, created, you'll save it as a .dcp file. Then you could use it in Photolab 4. And to use it, what you need to do is go to the uh, this tab right here, again, with it's a color tab, and then you want to go to color rendering. And when you click on the first drop down at the top, you could see that you could put a DCP profile on this image. To do that, then just click on that, and it will then kind of put the last DCP profile I used, which is for a Nikon Z7 II. I mentioned this image was taken with a Sony A7R4, so we don't want to use that. So we want to import a DCP profile. Then it will open up a finder window, and I have it right here, my Sony a7R4 linear profile. We'll open that, and you could see then it applied it. Now this looks like it's been processed a bit already in this uh, application. Um, I didn't do anything, it just puts some pre-processing on it, so it looks different than the other applications we mentioned already. All right, now we'll move on to Exposure X6. 
Similar to PhotoLab 4, we have to load a DCP profile into here. To do that, you go over to the Basic tab, the Profile, click on that. We're going to import a profile. Again, we're going to import that Sony A7R4 linear profile and click Open. And it's you basically could rename it here. And where is it going to put it? It's going to put it in a category called My Camera Profiles. That's fine. You can see. Just click OK. And then it applied it. There's our profile. Now it will always be there. It's under my camera profile, so it'll always be there for you to use with any Sony A7R4 image that you load into Exposure uh, X6. Now, finally, we're going to go to Luminar. Luminar is a little fussy. I was practicing with this earlier, and it kind of messed up the first time, but then it miraculously started working. So let's see if it works this time. I again have that Sony A7R4 image here. We're going to go to the profile, which is in the light tab. And then uh, you'll see that uh, down here I could load a custom DCP profile. But look as I did that. You see how it kind of stuck? This is where it, you have to be careful. What happened before was I, it like stuck on something here. And it screwed up the profile. So you must start out with Luminar default. So make sure that you have that. Then come way around so that you come to load custom DCP profile. Let's see, and hopefully this works. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is once you open this drop down, don't just scroll down like this because it will mess up the image, all right? So go there, go all the way around, load custom DCP profile. And again, it's going to open up the finder window. We'll go to the Sony A7R4 and let's see if it works. And it didn't seem to work, did it? It's still on Luminar default. We'll go there. And oh, we have it loaded though, right here. Uh, yeah, now it worked. All right, so now you could see how that works. So uh, Luminar, you have to be careful with. It's a little bit fussy uh, compared to the other ones. And that's all the applications that I've received feedback on that I actually own the application that I could demonstrate how to use these linear camera profiles in. Hopefully this helps you get better edits. I'd like to thank everyone that commented on that previous video. Uh, I again, I received some great feedback. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.